Okay, these were sent to me, not from the company, but from someone that watches the, the, uh, videos on the channel. And she said that these, to her, taste just like a good Twinkie, like a more healthy Twinkie. Uh, she said that, you know, this is a, a lot lower in carbs. Uh, I don't know about calories. Um, but, um, yes, yeah, so these are butter, almond butter cakes by the Belgian boys. Now, they have, I see some other the Belgian boy stuff that was um, <clears throat> low carb or lower carb. Um, and it's hard to get really low carb when it comes to this because it's a snack. You know, it's not like you eat everything here. The serving size is one cake. One cake. I don't know if you can see that. Turn this one out a little bit. Okay, the serving size whoop, is one cake. And that's 70 calories. And the carbs are 7 grams with 0.4 of um, fiber, dietary fiber. So that means it's what, 6.6? 6 .6? Yes, 6.6 .6 grams of carbs per little cake. Now, I don't know how big these are going to be. Or how big, you know, uh, they don't, they, they see there's eight of them in here, so they can't be that big. But here's some of the stuff in the back. Um, uh, the more butter, the better, it says. So it uses real butter, and it may use some kind of almond flour. I was looking at the ingredients, and um, it kind of appears that they create their own kind of flour with the ingredients. It's not like they just use some kind of you know commercial kitchen, commercial um, food supplier <coughs> use their um, flour. Looks like they assemble everything here. They're not just you know using like a cup of flour, you know, two eggs, that kind of stuff, you know little salt you know they're they're kind of doing their own thing it looks like so <clears throat> i don't know is this gonna be good she said very very good so we will open this up we'll see if it looks like this um and these are not filled it doesn't look like i don't think <clears throat> they're filled with any kind of cream like a twinkie would be it's more maybe like a more like a sponge cake a butter cake um I'm not sure. I mean, like a pound cake. You know, pound cake. Do they use a pound of butter in a pound cake? I don't know. Is that why they call it pound cake? If they do, that's a lot of butter. Because each stick is a quarter of a... <coughs> it's like a quarter of a, uh, a pound, I guess. If you have to use the whole pack, you four of those. So let's go ahead and open this. And we'll do our usual thing. It has a little mustache where it hangs on the thing. So. And we'll open this up. Oh, and... Oh, they're tiny. Okay, it says pick me up, anytime pick me up. Now let's see, does it say the same thing on all the cakes? Nope, I, th I thought that might do that. You want a piece of me, I guess I would say. Uh, it says you want a piece of me, so I'm not gonna spoil it for you. You get your own bag and see what they say. This is the first one I took out, was pick me up. Second one was, do you want a piece of me? Okay, we'll do one more, so we won't, we won't do all eight. Let's see what this one is. Random selection. Put my hand in there, and we have this one. Is a guy, one of the Belgian boys. He looks like he has one of those you know, cake decorators with the, the the decoration. He's decorating a cake. So some say things, and some of that. We'll try the first one we took out, which was pick me up. Now if there, she said this is like a Twinkie, but look at the. I'll say the size. This is 70 calories. It is tidy. Uh, and the total ounces of each one. Let's see here. Serving size, one cake. Oh, it is 15, only 15 grams uh, size. So the fact that it has seven grams of carbs, I guess, kind of makes sense. Um, uh, seven grams of total carbs, 6.6 .6 of the carbs for net carbs would be like a keto. It smells kind of like, well, was it like a macaroon or the cookie? Not the ones they have now where you put like, like ice cream between them, but kind of like the, um, the mezzapan or whatever it's called. Those cookies that you sort of get at a, when you get an ice cream sundae or something, they'll have those. So go and try it. Oh, first, does it look like the packaging? It appears that the packaging here uh, looks a little more orange. But that could also depend on you know this batch. I mean, uh, I'm sure they cook quite a bit at once, and they'll have tray after tray after tray of these little uh, dessert cakes, the butter uh, almond butter cake. Is that what it was? Yeah, almond butter cakes. So that's it.
kind of tastes like it's like a yellow cake. My favorite cake with using cake mix kind of thing like you would have with a kid would be a yellow cake with chocolate frosting. So before you put the frosting on there, uh, if you had a little piece of this unfrosted, that's kind of tastes like that. You can taste the almond. You can taste like an after effect of the almond. I guess like a aftertaste. Uh, it doesn't have like, everything hitting you at once kind of thing. You, you, you kind of bite it. And chew it. And then you kind of get the full flavors. Kind of separating the flavors. So when you first try it, it tastes like one thing. And then, I don't know if the the, the back area where it's like the heel area of the of the bread, you know, like if you cooked a whole bread, would it taste different there, like the crust of the bread? I don't know, because it's awfully small. Um, wait, <laughs> maybe two inches long. Maybe two inches by one inch. But very small. To tell you the truth, it's very good. But this lady's been diabetic since she was 20. And, well, she, she knew about it when she was 20. And she's now older than I am. So it's been 50-something years, probably. 45, 50 years since she's had a Twinkie, probably. <laughs> Unless she's messed up or slipped up or someone said, I brought you a, a, a treat and brought a two-pack of Twinkies on that little card. And you lick the 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 cardboard to get the the part of the crust, uh, the, the breaded part there. Don't forget to please subscribe. And uh, like it. And share because you may have a friend that is looking for a delicious snack now this is another one of those things you can't really well i'm not you can't i can't really eat this um, take two of those and make up a, a peanut butter sandwich that wouldn't really be practical first of all it'd be too small and I'd probably still be hungry but it's not really a bread for peanut butter to make a bologna sandwich bologna and cheese or bologna with mustard yeah <laughs> most of those processed meats are pretty pretty uh unhealthy i, I would imagine so it's not really made for that, but if you're, if you're, if everybody else is having a snack, you can have one too. And I think if you offer these to people that are not in the need of a dietary, or they don't think they are, or they may, maybe not yet, if they're not really in a need for a low carb, keto friendly or whatever, low calorie, lower, I don't know if 70 calories for that, that little thing is really low calorie. Sometimes they'll say, this is not a low calorie food. Uh, it contains almond milk, um, almond eggs, milk, and wheat may also um, contain soy. Um, may also contain soy. I don't know. Uh, it's just keeping a cool, dry place. So, yeah, good. Yes, they are good. Tastes like a Twinkie? No, nothing like a Twinkie. No, to me, it tastes like more like a, what is it called, mesopan? They're, they're, they're like an almond cookie. But this is soft, and those are usually crunchy. Don't forget, please... Subscribe, like, share, comment down below. Would you like to try these? Should I mail you one of those little packages? They'll probably be gone. <laughs> you know, yeah, any kind of a dessert when you're a diabetic that you can work into your uh, diet, um, it's hard to really share with someone else. Take care, everyone. Have a great uh, Tuesday. Taste Test Tuesday. Taste Test Tuesday. And this is what it was. Okay.